I'm not too fast as you are. <laughs> nah, man, this boy is the best. Shows up on time, gives me an honest day's work. You can't find people like this anymore. You know that's right. Now these other dudes, these white boys, and the brothers, show up late, they loaf around, all they want is a check. I heard that. Here is your super juice master. For future reference, frequent cleaning of blades will prevent motor wear and accumulation of earth bacteria. <laughs> I told you, the boy is good. If I could find three more like him, I could retire. Excuse me, Otto. I believe it is time for midday cessation of activities for protein carbo intake. Yeah, sure. Take your lunch break. Lunch, 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 lunch. Boy, I love to eat. Lunch, 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 lunch. Greetings, Earth Woman. <laughs> Time for the midday consumption of mass quantities. I have re-radiated leftover starch disc. Ah, pizza. I will enjoy it. There. Warning. Do not sear the top of your neck hole in the molten lactate extract of food mammals. Excellent. The final component for the intergalactic communicator. Correct. There. Perhaps a final tightening of the spiral dimension fasteners. Beldar, activate the device. Address Marlax. Inform him of our situation. There is no advantage to delay. Well, I'm not a crook. There, Scrab. Phone home. and I'm glad to see your life functions are still active. Greetings, Malax. I trust you have enslaved the planet and are awaiting further instructions. <laughs> Unanticipated failure of Mentanglian Drive has caused us to abandon our vessel in a fluid mass. At what time coordinates might we expect a rescue vessel? Rescue vessel? You talk path. I would not like to be in your cone when the High Master hears of your failure. He will not take it lightly. I will try to arrange for a star cruiser to enter your solar system in about, oh, seven zeros. Seven zeros? Plug it. Run your luck. Not hell. Uh, wait, wait. Seven zeros. Beldar. There is something we should discuss that is far more important than planetary conquest. But what could be more important than planetary conquest? Beldar, I am with Cohn. You? I? A young one? Affirmative. Eight thousand dollars. <laughs> This is the best week I've ever had. And there's 1,200 for you, Beldar. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, Beldar, you still haven't given me your social security number. My social security number. I, I am sorry, I keep forgetting. Look, man, I need that number. I got state payroll forms, workman's comp. You do have a number, don't you? Of course, I am a citizen of this planet. All right, my man, give me the numbers. O, oh, two, five, six, X, point, three, O, oh, B, eight, seven. Belda, my man, you trying to tell me you don't have a social security number? Correct. Why not? I am an illegal alien. 
I knew you were too good to be true. Every time I make some money, this happens. So where you from? The planet Remulac. I am fuel survey underlord for your entire Never mind, never mind, never mind. Look, we're gonna work this out. All right, here's the deal. Your name is Donald R.D. Chico, got that? Donald R.D. Chico? Yeah, that's you. D-E, capital C-I-C-C-O. You were born August 11th, 1951 in Brockton, Massachusetts. Brockton, Massachusetts? Oh, it's a lovely town there. And your name is what? Donald R.D. Chico? That's right, you are. It's nice to see you. Your wife's name is Mary Margaret Rowney, born June 26, 1955 in Narragansett, Rhode Island. But you're from where? Brockton, Massachusetts. Hey, my mother's from there. You two were married June 4th, 1975 in Coros, Greece, where you met on a fellowship following your graduation from Hobart College. Hobart? Hobart College. College. Let's put them together. Hobart College. The man's a wizard. Everything else you need is in here. Birth certificates, family names, school records, employers, addresses. Grandmother's maiden name. Not that the last, but it's in there. <laughs> <laughs> Most important, your social security numbers. What's your name? Donald R. D. Chico. Donald D. Chico, nice to meet you. Welcome to the United States. Right in there, up and down. This is a fine craft. It can be operated with some ease. Yo, man, come on, that's so close, all right? I mean, it's not that I'm against close, it's just it's not my thing, man. See, in America, we got this thing called space. There you go. Belda, if you're gonna live here and have kids, you're gonna have to get yourself together. Buy yourself a car, maybe get a hat for that head. And you got to do something about those teeth. Keith. Felda, you know what the key to success in this country is? I do not. Well, I'm gonna tell you. Look good, be your own boss, never get chained to a desk. When it comes to business, take cash only. Look good, be your own boss, no desk, cash only. You got it. <laughs> get more of that gum, man? Of course. On second thought, I better not chew and drive. I might hit something. Find out where they're from. On it. Because wherever that is, I'm seeing to it that they go back there. <laughs> 